What is going on, beautiful people? It is Bet Slam with Sam coming at you with another UFC 299 prediction video. We have Michelle Pereira taking on Mikal Oleg Jacob. <laughs> However, the fuck you say his last name. Guys, Michelle Pereira, a minus 150 favorite. Mikal coming back plus 130. Why can't we get people fighting with different first names? Anyway. Michelle Pereira, I just want to start with him. He's fought the majority of his career, kind of drained doing that big weight cut down to 170. I mean, he's a massive one. Well, he was a massive 170 pounder. Six foot one, built like a brick shitter. Dude is large. I mean, he's chiseled, he's big. And at 170 pounds, it was kind of ridiculous how big he was. Now that he's at middleweight, obviously a lot more larger middleweights, but he's still big. He's, he's not small for the middleweight division. And it's where he probably should have been all along. He has had one fight at middleweight versus Andre Petrovsky. Very little that we saw from that one because Andre got planted with a big right hand and finished early. So it's hard to know how he's feeling at that frame, but he did get a little bit of cage time and he looked good, you know? Very short, very short amount for us to break down as him as a middleweight, but he looked good, you know? One thing I do wonder in this matchup is Mikhail likes to walk people down, take away the space, and throw a lot of combinations in close. And Michel Pereira fights best when, you know, he's moving around, he's switching up the stances, he can dart in and out on the angles. So who's going to win there? Is Michel Pereira going to be able to dart back and forth, keep Mikhail at the end of his range? Or is Mikhail going to take away the range and we're going to see a little bit of a firefight in a phone booth? If Michel Pereira is able to keep the distance, be creative, fire at the, at his range, he's going to destroy Mikel. Because Mikel fights like a boxer with a closed guard, and you cannot block Michelle Pereira's shots. You, just, you cannot get hit by them. If he hits you and your arm is up and he still connects with some part of your head, he's going to rock Mikel. And as long as I... As long as I see Michelle Pereira not getting too wild, throwing too many spinning head kicks or things like that, if he stays with the fundamentals, he should easily win this fight. Easily. Because he has the, such a nuclear power advantage here that he should be able to win it, okay? But if he goes on some weird, you know, dancing shit, we know he's got a bit of a capoeira background. If he starts doing that shit, he's going to get himself in trouble. I think we've got a dialed-in version now, though, of Michel Pereira that we can kind of trust that there's still some wild element to it, but he's got a lot more technical aspects going on now. And I really am excited to see it evolve here. I think this is a great matchup for him to see where he's at. You know, I did watch the M Mikal, God, I hate that these are Michelle and Mikal, Mikal versus Injukuani matchup. And Michelle Pereira isn't going to gas in one in, in less than a round. You know, he's not going to gas in this first round. It doesn't matter what Mikal does to him. He's not going to be exhausted by the end of this round. So he's not going to get finished and ground and pounded out in the way that Njuku Anu is. If this, this fight gets extended to round two and round three, who knows what it looks like? Because we've seen Pereira win decisions. He's not a finish or bust fighter. And I think cutting less weight, I think he's going to have better cardio. I think this is going to be the best version we've seen of him today. I think he not only wins this fight, I think he gets a damn finish. And I think he makes Mikel look like he doesn't belong in there with him. That is my official prediction. Michelle Pereira, inside of the distance, battle of the <laughs> Michelle and Macaus. And uh, yeah, you know, that, that is what it is. If you disagree, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the fucking next one.